question I'm going to ask you is, are you natural or not? We're at the Arnold Classic UK weekend, and today we're going to ask people whether they're natty or not. Let's fucking go. We have our first victim of the day. Are you natural or not? No. What made you go down that route? Wanted to turn uh, IFBB pro. And you haven't been on for you've been you've been on for a while or? No, uh, no. For, Fourteen months. Fourteen months. Yeah. And what's one thing that you? have learned since being on or one thing that you would change maybe? For me it's not about staying on forever like as soon as I've turned pro had a little dabble in the pro leagues I'll, I'll come off. Okay. It's not a look I like but... So my question for you is is it worth dabbling in it and doing what you are doing just to look a certain way for a short period of time with the potential risk that might come with you? Is it fun? No. <laughs> no chance mate. No. Uh, unless you've got good a good structure, good genetics, good work rate, I wouldn't fucking touch it. No chance. Usually I'm going to have to. Oh, Ladies, God, sorry to bother you. The first question I'm going to ask you. Yes. Are you natural or not? Yes. <laughs> are you natural or not? I am natural. And I'm an IFBB pro. IFBB pro? Yeah. Are you natural? An IFBB pro? No. Okay, so what's your thoughts? Obviously, female bodybuilding, especially IFBB pro now. Enhancements, that side of things. What, what's your opinion on that? Like, for you now, what's your plans when it comes to that? Because obviously, you're on a very big pond now. Yeah, so I'm going to remain natural. So I turned pro in November. So I will do one natural season next year. And then I'll take maybe three years off till I have kids. And then when I come back, then I'll decide if I want to come back to competing, maybe try assistance. But That's for amazing. me, yeah, me, it's just a personal thing. Like, I think that I've trained and competed for a long time, so it's taken me six years to turn pro. So for me, it's just it's just a time thing for me. So Is that something that you would consider yourself? So it's never, never say never. It does cross my mind that I get to a point now where I've done it for seven years and I'm not pro yet. And it does make you think, is that what I need? So it's not a thing that's there yet, but I'm not saying no either. So. I decided to do it because I felt like time is against me. I started a little bit later than the girls did over here, and I personally think that I should have probably waited a little bit longer than before I went that route, but no regrets. I was, I was just impatient. It was a matter of I could do it and turn pro when I'm 33, 35, or I could cheat. Not cheap, but speed up the time and turn by the time I'm 30. I really appreciate it, girls. It means a lot. Thank, Thank you so you. much. The question I'm going to ask you is, uh, are you natural or not? Now, obviously found out that you uh, are natural, but you were natural for a long time, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was natural for ages, man, yeah. And what made you decide to go down that route? I mean, at some point in your career, like, if you really want to take it to, you know, to Olympia level, I mean, you can't go into the sword. You can't go into a battle with a blunt sword. That's what I say. Like, yeah. if you want to do well, if you want to go to that height, you're going to have to do what the other lads are doing, you know? Since you've been on, is there any regrets or anything that you would do differently? Nah, man, I've had the right guidance. I took my time, learned a lot about it before I went into it. Um, you know, I'm a coach as well, so I also help a lot of people to step on stage. So I've studied this for years, studied biomedical science in uni. So, like, I mean, I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to it. But I would say to anyone that if they wanted to do it, yeah. don't just, like, do it without making that research because you need to know what you get yourself into, you know? Yeah. I really appreciate it. Appreciate it's your honesty as well. So Thank you, man. Thank you. You've got your anabolic classic t-shirts on. Are you natural? Yes. Those delts, they're pretty fucking sus, he's mate. He's got the little advantage here, though. Uh, uh, he's so I diabetic. I was going to say, yeah, but there's, uh, there's a lot of people that are diabetic that use steroids. Do you use any more insulin than what you should? Um. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> other, other, <laughs> no, 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 no. Other, mo other, other moment, no, but there's sometimes where you just like, after a leg day, you're hungry, you're like, fuck it, I'll put in like double the amount of should, okay. and then you'll sit there and eat four bowls of cereal. So, a situation like that, yeah, but not you're, recently. You're a fake nay. No. <laughs> <laughs> and you, sir? I am planning to, but once I get leaner so I can actually, I don't want to fuck up my you know. My question is for you, like, what's made you decide to go down that route? I haven't decided yet. It's mainly if I can get lean enough and I'm enjoying it and I want to do that, then I'll make that choice. But it's not something I want to jump into without really considering getting blood tests done and really trying to be the best I can this year naturally before taking those, you know, it's a big decision to make. Good man. That is what the advice should be. Don't fucking go down the route when you're fucking two years into your training. Write that one down now. Got some insulin Monty. on you. Yeah, is it after? A little bit of insulin afterwards? <laughs> the question I'm going to ask you is, are you natural or not? <laughs> no, I'm not. So with wellness, obviously, it's a little, I think, especially in females, it's very sort of underspoken yeah. about, like, is there something that you can tell me about 
the assisted aspect of things in the wellness division? The thing is, I don't think it does the work for you, does it? It helps you. <laughs> That's what it is. So it's like the icing on the cake? Yeah. yeah. You've got to have everything else in place first, haven't you? And my question for you now is, is there anything that you would go back on now and go, right, I would do that a little bit differently? No, because I wouldn't be where I am today. <laughs> I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. The question I want to ask you today, you'll fucking see those arms, mate. Thank you, man. I've been walking around like this. Are you natural or not? Yeah. I just got good genetics. Those those arms are natural. But, but a lot of people think I'm on steroids and I ain't on steroids. I used to be. I used to be. But it's no point because... Wait a minute. So you used to be on steroids, but you're not anymore? I used to only a little cycle, like a couple of weeks cycle. What made you decide to come off them? Um, I don't know. Like a lot, a lot of my friends um, and my mum as well she used to say, well, you don't need them. You know, you're natural. You're massive. A lot of people think you're big anyway, you know? And, and obviously with our health and everything, it's not really good. At the moment, it's natural. And just focus on my training and eating right. So, I have BB Bro Women's Physique. Yeah, that's the one. Now you're not? No. So my question then now is, what does it take to get to your level of muscularity? I know you're very open about your usage yeah. and is there anything that you can dive into on this channel in terms of providing some value to people that want to inspire to look like the way that you do? Obviously like it takes years of consistency with meals, with training, with recovery, sleep, all that good stuff. So I've been training for a long time. Um, like when I was really, the moment I could run, more kind of sort of focus on bodybuilding the last like seven to eight years um, and that's consistently building a base of good food good training recovery that kind of thing my best advice is you know steroids don't come into it until you're you have those fundamentals like nailed and even then you know don't follow anything fucking socials that say you need to take this and this invest in a good coach that knows what they're doing especially as females we need to be very on top of what we're taking dosage wise you know because the side effects that we experience they stay with us forever we can't just you know if we if we have a voice tracker or jaw changes then that's it that's our start whereas yes obviously steroids for males aren't a good thing either then you know we need to be on top of health or that but with females it's a little bit different and things think people you can take you know just half the dose of your boyfriend's cycle do you know what i mean and that's, that's not the case so don't listen to your boyfriend if you have so my next question is going back would there would you change anything absolutely not no absolutely because i'm very lucky to have a good coach very lucky to have my own knowledge so yeah i wouldn't change a thing I really appreciate your time. No, no Thank problem, you so much. No Are you natural or not? No. <laughs> how long have you been using? Uh, milligrams. How how long? How long? 2013. I I started. And what is your biggest cycle that you've done? I don't remember. <laughs> A lot or not? Uh, more than one gram of testosterone. More. I really appreciate your honesty. You. Now you're not part one completed. I love the UK because we're very honest about our steroid use over here and the beauty of this is that obviously it's a lot more open nowadays to speak about this sort of stuff. Like 10 years ago when I first started, not many people spoke about steroids, but now it's very open. And the beauty of it is that, you know, you can learn so fucking much before just going into this aspect of things and potentially, you know, dabbling in and not knowing the long-term risks or not actually how to do it properly. So many people are so open and honest about it now and I think it's definitely gone in the right direction. I think like some people still make mistakes and I think that's always going to be the case. There's so much you can learn now about this. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got something from it as well. I'll see you in part number two.